ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ where do we sit below the tree or on the top of the tree <laughs> if we want to have real fun we must be on the top of the tree and if we want to be make our life funny and a comedy for others and tragedy for oneself then let us sit below the tree so what is the meaning of climbing the tree of life and sitting on the top of the world this is what the 15th chapter of gita tells us see there are four five things which will be taken care of in this chapter number 1 what is this world number 2 what is the technique by which we can get out of this world number 3 when we get out of this world do we get lost as a depressed dejected lonely person or we are on the top of the world the one who is on the top of the world also got out of the world and the one who is lonely dejected living in his own cocoon he is also out of the world but he is in a wrong manner thereafter the next step comes as to who is this who is doing all this see so we inquire about the soul who is this jiva who is putting efforts after that is done then the next step comes we talk about god 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 what is that god where is he can we see him can we experience him then the fourth topic comes who is that or what is that which is expressing as the world the individual soul the god and his expression etc what is that and ultimately that absolute ultimate reality is revealed and then the teacher will tell us he who knows this as his immediate experience he alone can attain fulfillment in life so for attaining the fulfillment in life this is the way there is no other way so we start from the first verse of the 15th chapter if you feel like you may chant if you don't feel like i will chant shri bhagavan vacha ಊರ್ಧ್ವಮೂಲಮದಶಾಖಂ ಅಶ್ವತ್ಥಂ ಪ್ರಾಹುರವ್ಯ ಛಂದಿ ಯಸ್ತಂ ವೇದ ಸ ವೇದ ವಿತ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಾಚ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಕ್ಲರೇಷನ್ ಗೀವನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸಿ it is not somebody said that this is what lord said no there is no one reporting what the lord told it is the lord directly himself sri bhagavan vach now what is the load of this statement the load of this statement is that the lord or the bhagavan is beyond the influence of time therefore whatever he has said is eternally valid number 1 second thing it is coming directly from the horse's mouth so there is no possibility of any interpolation see and the third and the most important thing because it is said by the lord it is equally valid for the total creation whatever path you may follow whatever religion you may follow it is applicable to everyone like medicine is applicable to everyone 
physics is applicable to everyone in the same manner this is the knowledge of life applicable to every living being shri bhagavan vach now what does he say urdhamoolam adashakam ashvatsam prahu avyayam this world is compared with the fig tree you know the fig tree is a very peculiar tree the watavruksha the banyan tree or the peepal tree or the audumbara tree which is associated with bhagwan dattatreya these trees they belong to the fig family fig tree and the speciality of the fig tree is very unique if you take the fruits of the fig trees and dry them and take out the seeds and then sow them they will never germinate they germinate only under a very peculiar condition what is their condition when the fruits are eaten by the bird and those seeds are processed through the gi tract of the bird and it is thrown out in the beads and wherever it falls there the tree starts growing therefore you will see in india there are such odd places where nobody has gone and yet the plant is growing there see friends in the same manner now be very attentive in the same manner only in absolute consciousness there is no samsara there is no misery only in matter there is no misery there is no samsara but when consciousness expresses through the matter as mind thereafter the body becomes enlivened and the samsara begins see only a man cannot produce children only a woman cannot produce children the purusha and the prakriti has to come together then only the propagation is possible see therefore this fig tree is uh, taken as a simile for the world it is like a big tree urdhva moolam adashakam ashvatha now this word ashvatha means what shwa means tomorrow a means not that which is not the same as today and tomorrow it is totally change therefore ashwatha means what is this world this world is a continuous process of change one after another see first it is only a seed then it become the zygote therefore when the children are born they are called as kids because they begin as a goat so the zygote or the zygote then starts multiplying multiplying and they are born and you see see this child is so, so small and now he is doing medicine don't we get surprised everything is continuously changing whether it is the people or the tradition or the values or the achievements everything is continuously changing this is the law of nature we cannot stop this change the only way is we become accommodate you to the changing situation those who are not able to accommodate themselves in the changing situation they are rubbed away in this world see friends therefore it is called as ashwatha that which is constantly changing now the second meaning of ashwatha is ashwa ashwa means horse that which is like the horse horse is ever alert horse is never sitting down and taking rest like a donkey but is ever alert and a horse never stands on four legs when it is taking rest it is standing only on three and half legs and ever ready to go in the same manner this world is continuously changing and ever on the move 
देर फोर दिस वर्ल्ड इज कॉल्ड एज अश्वत्थ सी एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए ट्री बिकॉज इफ यू टेक द दिस यू नो सीजनल प्लांट्स लाइक द पैडी और द व्हीट और द मेज दैट वी सो दे जर्मिनेट प्रोड्यूस द फ्रूट्स एंड आफ्टर वन प्रोडक्शन दे आर डेड but when it is a tree a mango tree or any big tree oak tree that tree is required to be cut it will not automatically disappear in the same manner this world of relativity will not just disappear of its own we will have to cut it asanga shastrena drudena chitva the teacher will tell us and therefore it is called as the fig tree ऊर्धमूलमदशाखम अश्वत्थम प्रारु प्राहु अव्यय एंड दिस ट्री इज वेरी पिक्युलियर हाउ इट इज ऊर्धमूलम अधशाखम द रूट्स आर अबव एंड द ब्रांचेस आर बिलो एज इफ द ट्री हैज डन ए शीर्षासन वेन वी डू शीर्षासन अवर लेग्स गो अप एंड हेड इज डाउन इन द सेम मैनर दिस ट्री हैज डन एज इफ ए शीर्षासन द वॉट इज द मीनिंग नो ही हेज वेरी सटल पॉइंट बी अटेंटिव we can have different visions in our life one common example i'll give you if this camera is fixed at a lower level and then the picture is taken i will be seen as a tall person if the camera is fixed on the top and from there if it is taken i will be seen as a short person and if i look at the camera at the eye level then it will be the right vision in the same manner how do we take life see are we looking at the life through an example it will become clear a wave looking at the wave i look at you both of us are the individualities vyakti so when i look at you there will be always competition jealousy achievement failure friendship enmity because i i i i see this is one vision a relative unit is looking at another relative unit second vision the wave is looking at the ocean will the wave be jealous of the ocean will the wave try to compete with the ocean what will be the relationship of the wave with the ocean submission and surrender the second vision is i as an individual withdraw from my interaction with the my type and invoke the lord through devotion this is the second vision the third vision the ocean is looking at the waves what will be the experience and attitude of the ocean towards the waves will the ocean say i hate tsunami and katrina <coughs> no for the ocean whether it is tsunami or katrina or it is a small little ripple no difference <coughs> and the last the water looking at the ocean and the waves from the water's point of view the ocean is not terrible and the wave is not innocent from the water's point of view other than the water nothing else is these are the vision through which we have to go see and therefore here the teacher says that are we looking at the world that i am a miserable one oh lord we will keep on complaining and asking and demanding on the contrary look at the world as the lord is looking at the world see take an example in a big house like this the child gets up i don't know tradition here in india normally the children and the parents sleep together so the child gets up at the middle of the night 
12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. And, Mommy, 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 I have to go to bathroom, so, 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 please. Go yourself. No, 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 I am afraid because there is darkness. So for the child to go out of the bathroom, out of the bedroom to the bathroom, he is as if going to another place. But for the mother, mother knows. Whether it is the bedroom or the bathroom, it is the same house. Therefore, there is no fear. In the same manner, from the Lord's point of view, whether somebody is born or somebody dies, it is equal. When a wave is born, the ocean doesn't celebrate happy birthday to you. And when a day wave dies, the ocean doesn't have to mourn because when they are born, they are in me. When they disappear, they come back to me. See friends, this change in the vision is the purpose of this telling this world as Urdhva Moola Madashakam. Now see, this is the path. This is the journey we have to take. The journey is objective world is existing in the senses. Senses are existing in the mind. Mind is an expression of consciousness through the body. So this is one path. In this path there is a struggle. What is the struggle? First of all give up your indulgence with the objective world come to the senses. Give up the senses, come to the mind. Give up the mind and come to the consciousness. Tyage naike amrutatva manachu, morning class. The other way is look at the world as the Lord is looking at the world. What is the meaning? The meaning is eyes are the Lord for all the colors and forms. Therefore, the eyes have no biasness for any color and any form and the eyes are not influenced by any color and any form. Eyes are only illuminating all colors and all forms. One step further you go. Mind is the God for all the faculties. <coughs> Therefore, mind has no biasness towards the eyes or the ears or the nose. No. And when one of the organs is out of order, suppose somebody becomes blind, nothing happens to the mind. See? Therefore, the mind is independent of all the senses, faculties. And then we go one step further. Consciousness is expressing through all the bodies as mind. And when we come to this position of the consciousness, we have climbed the tree. And from there when we look around, our vision is totally different. Then we start living as consciousness and function through the mind. We start living as consciousness and function through the senses. We start living as consciousness and function through the body. And therefore, the limitations of the body, the limitations of the mind, the limitations of the senses will never, never influence us. This is the meaning of Urdhva Moola Madashakam. Ashvattam Prahu Avyayam. And this phenomena is Avyayam. It is incessantly going on. It is not for the first time. This has always been happening. See? Avyayam. It has never changed. One day one person asked me this question. Swamiji, in today's world, the morning newspaper becomes old in the afternoon. Your Bhagavad Gita is more than 5200 years old. So is it not outdated? I said, you are a very intelligent person. There is no doubt about it. It is outdated under the following conditions. Condition number one. 
that time when bhagavad gita was told people were seeing by eyes and now the people see by the nose does it happen no that time people were confused and now people are not confused see that time there was a problem of i versus you now there is no problem of i versus you human life or for that purpose life always remain the same there is no change see friends earlier also people you know small small tribes or small kingdoms they they used to <coughs> attack one over other conquer take their ladies make them men as slaves see have you seen that movie gladiator see have you seen that movie gladiator how terrible it is when i saw that movie what came in my mind was not anything else but the truth that during that period what was the culture of rome see people are caught under force and brought as slaves like now we have the uh, horse race or you the bull fight in the same manner it was a human fight you kill each other and all the dars are you know beautifully dressed with all kinds of colors and all kinds of, and then they are laughing when somebody is dying you know? what was happening that time and today is there any difference it has always been like this there is no difference in this world therefore what is said here is applicable under all conditions every time everywhere ऊर्धमूलमदशाकम अश्वत्थ प्राहु अव्यय एंड यू कैनॉट चेंज इट लाइक वी कैनॉट चेंज द लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटी लाइक वी कैनॉट चेंज द फ्लो ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम द हायर टू लोअर लेवल इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वी कैन चेंज द पीपल ग्रोइंग ओल्ड सी फ्रेंड्स देर फोर ऊर्धमूलमदशाकम अश्वत्थ प्राहुरव्य chandamsi yas parnani now this world what is what are the leaves you know any tree has its beauty because of the leaves not because of the flowers and not because of the fruits flower and fruits are hardly numbered on every tree but the main mass and the bulk of the tree is the leaves suppose there is a tree luxuriously with lots of leaves it looks beautiful but if the tree has no leaves it looks so dead therefore chandam si yasya parnani so what are the leaves of this ashwatthama vriksha the world that the samsaris chandam si means the veda the scriptures when our life is lived in the light of the upanishad or the veda systematically fulfilling our duties and leading a life of contentment and fulfillment then only this tree of the world is most beautiful and if we although born as a human being start living our life as animals then this world will become horrible see today we see in the whole world the condition is becoming day by day terrible because the self control the submission to the authority of the scriptures is completely gone everybody talks about freedom and what is the freedom whatever i feel like doing that is called as freedom see friends it is not freedom what is right should be done not whatever i like should be done therefore to have control over ourselves we have to submit to the discipline therefore chandam si yasya parnani yastam ved savedavit in this manner he who knows that which is supporting this whole world of constant change now another important point <coughs> a change can be established only with reference to an unchanging reference see if you have seen the photographs of any big project 
day one they will have a photograph just raw land and they will have one reference either a big you know a hillock or a big tree which they will never cut or remove then after uh, two months what has happened on the land another photograph then after six months what has happened third photograph and the progress in the work is established with reference to that unchanging reference point in the same manner all the changes are established with reference to the unchanging reference this unchanging reality he who comes to discover he alone has understood everything in life see now what is our struggle our struggle is that changes should not happen changes are bound to happen in this world then what is to be done who is establishing the changes see friends the more we become contemplative we come to know that we have seen the changes in our own life the childhood then slowly we are growing we became teenagers we are growing we became mature enough we became middle age then we became married children mother father continuous changes are happening but nobody has an experience that i am changing nobody can have the experience that i am growing therefore many people say elderly people i don't feel i am old this is perfectly right you can never experience when others tell you then you have to accept yes now i am old see friends so this principle which has supported all the changes but which was never influenced by any change yaha tam veda he who knows this so veda vid he has alone understood the secret of all the knowledge all the vedas see now with this understanding when we interact with the world what will be our understanding as long as we are here live happily and cheerfully do whatever best you can do accept the world as it is and go through the world but we imagine i want to change this world i want to improve this world what can improvement can be brought out only in the dreams dreams come and go see therefore i remember one of the greatest saint of india you must have heard the name his name is nisargadatta maharaj he has a tremendous influence on my life and he writes in one place all those who have come to save this world as saviors they were shaved off the world always remained as it is so many avatar have come and gone rama came and went krishna came and went jesus came and went and so many mahatmas came and went is there any improvement in this world see friends this world has always been like this there is nothing new in this world it is not worth wasting our time on improving the world you improve yourself and who ever comes in your contact if that person is benefited it is his greatness not our uh, contribution therefore the purpose of knowing this world as a constant changing phenomena and we are the substratum supporting everything he who discovers this he alone has understood the secret of the world now <coughs> the next verse the tree is further glorified ada stordham prasrta astasya shakha guna pravruddha vishaya pravala ada chamulanya nusantatani karma anubandhi ni manushya loke now the tree has not only roots and main trunk but there are many branches 
is not only one trunk and no branch. Therefore, the branches are shakha, adascha urudam prasruta astasya shakha. Now, this tree has branches going upwards and downwards. What is the upwards and downwards? Higher life and lower life. What is the higher life? Higher life is a subtler life and lower life is a gross life. So, we see what is the higher life, what we call as the gods and the angels, that is the higher life. And what is the lower life, what we call as the animals and plants and all insects, etc., that is the lower life. And who are we, human beings? We are in the center. So, with reference to us, all the gods with all the divine powers, they are higher life, and animals, etc., they are the lower life. In this manner, this world has three types of lives. Higher, human beings and the lower. Adascha urdham prasruta tasya shakha. Guna pravruddha vishaya pravalaha. And <coughs> these branches are dependent on the three gunas of the prakriti. Those who are sattvic, predominantly sattva, knowledge oriented, their life is less of indulgence. Second is the Rajasik, those who are rustic, active, dynamic, they are too much indulgent in this world. And the third one, lowest kind is Tamasik, simply eating and sleeping, sleeping and eating. Nothing else to be achieved or just living through because no death has come. In the same manner, <coughs> in this world we come across these three types of life dependent on the three gunas, sattva, rajas, tamas. And all these three lives we all experience in our life. When we are in the morning fresh, good sleep, nice bath, and finish your little morning, whatever exercises you do, and then sit before the Lord, and get lost in the meditation, disappear. Two, three hours in the morning, you are in tune with the Divine. That time we are the higher life. Thereafter, we have to go for work. <laughs> then that is the middle life, the human life. And then we come back in the evening, so tired, so exhausted, and take food and go to sleep. The Tamoguna begins. See? In this manner, <coughs> we are experiencing the three kinds of life Guna Pravruddha, Vishaya Pravalaha, and the beautiful leaves which come on this plant or the tree, they are the various kinds of Vishaya, the objects. So, the whole life is spent in running after the five kinds of objects, Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha. See? You know, <clears throat> I received the other day, I showed it to him, uh, <clears throat> one email where inquiry from Indian tourism made by many people around the world, internet they go and they ask questions. So, various kinds of questions, you know, and those people who replied, they must be having a very high sense of humor. So, one person from America asked, do people in India talk English? So, the reply given, yes, please learn properly and come. <laughs> <laughs> Americans have got very poor English. Then, there was another question. Uh, do you have um, scents in India, fragrance, you know, perfumes? Huh? Do you have perfumes in India? No, Indians don't stink, they take bath. <laughs> so, this whole world, Vishaya Pravalaha, how many varieties of things are there, you know? Even a simple thing like curtains. There are hundreds and hundreds of curtains. So we go to somebody's house. Oh, these are very good curtains. Where are oh, yeah. We go home and change our thing and then, ah. And this is how with all the objects around the world, the world becomes more and more prosperous. 
so what is the prosperity prosperity is that uh, there are more choices available and more misery therefore available the more the choice we give to ourselves more miserable we become lesser the choice we give to ourselves less miserable we are and don't give any choice except the things as they are no reaction with the world it is such a simple thing therefore guna vishaya pravala adashya mula nanusantatane karmanu bandhini manushya loke and for this fig tree there are advantageous roots you know the secondary roots from the banyan tree or the peepal tree you know additional roots come down those are the advantageous roots born out of karmanu bandhini because we do a lot of karma have a lot of expectation and we get so much rooted in our life that everything is forgotten as if this is everything nothing more than this karma anubandhi ne manushya loke see and then there are lot of expectations from the people around us from the government see you know this uh, in new orleans when katrina episode happened to set right the whole thing it took more than 6 months in 2005 in bombay similar kind of chaos happened that time you know all my books and everything worth about 20 25 lakhs was completely destroyed because up to the first floor the whole sea has entered completely destroyed and yet bombay came to normal within 4 days what is the reason people know government will do nothing <laughs> we have to do ourselves and in america what happened they expect government to do everything that's all see and in this manner karma anubandhi de manushya loke the more expectations we have from the world the more we suffer see and then we get so much caught up in our own creation karma anubandhi de manushya loke now such people those who are living in this world and constantly complaining for them there is no option but to suffer the one day i was traveling by train in india and uh, you know in the um, indian trains you get uh, you know you got tea coffee food right in your place you don't have to go here and there so the waiter came and when he saw me as a swami he did namaskar he said uh, swami ji what will you take i said i'll take a cup of tea no milk light and sugar plenty okay he brought for me and uh, when i wanted to pay him he said no 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 from you i will not take money i said thank you very much then you can give me after every 4 hours <laughs> <laughs> when this happened there was a person elderly man he said you people are lucky you get everything free i said yes you also become swami come i got extra pair of you know clothes in my bag i can give you there is no institution there is no legalized thing that you have to be nominated by a such and such you know head of the religion in hindu religion there is no head everybody is head see this is not one shankaracharya there are hundreds of them that is why hinduism is not a religion in religion they are very obsessed therefore whether you believe the husband believes in krishna the wife believes in rama the children believe in hanuman ji and the daughter in law believes in nothing and yet all of them are hindu see that freedom is there so when we are in this manner living comfortably so that man said you are so lucky you are getting everything free as you become swami you will get free no 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 then no we will have to pay so we started talking then i asked him i said what do you do oh i was a freedom fighter i said you are still fighting with the government 
to get more and more money because you have fought for the freedom and the next point is have we really got the freedom freedom from whom before the britishers and the mughals came the local kings were sucking the people the kings were replaced by the britishers and the mughals they were removed they also sucked away everything now the bad elements of the society they are getting into the politics now they are sucking away so this is the same story there is nothing who is free see yes we are free to be miserable nobody will stop us therefore real freedom is not this we get caught up more and more in this world karma anubandhi ni manushya loke and we imagine by doing this and that we will be able to get freedom from this you can never see the rule is committing theft is not a sin the rule is if you are caught they need the sin see a small government official he takes a bribe of 50 dollars it becomes a big news and he is behind the bar and so called big politicians they misappropriate legally millions and yet they are sitting in a high position see this is how the world is it has always been like this karma anubandhini manushya loke now when we thus live in this world and we start inquiring and not complaining normally our mind has uh, only a set mode complain mode there are some people who have complain about everything in this world such a complete master from india he died and went to the heavens and when he was in the heavens so the lord asked him are you happy here what happy there are no mosquitoes here i am surprised once you are a complain master you will keep on complaining about something or the other but when we start inquiring we stop complaining and when we start inquiring then what happens the third mantra na rupamasse hatatho palavyate nanto na chadir na cha sampratishtha ashvatthamenam suvirudha moolam asanga shastrena drudhena chitva तस्य रूपम इह न तथा उपलभ्यते वेन वी स्टार्ट इन्क्वायरी अबाउट द वर्ल्ड सी मेनी पीपल यू नो वेन दे कम एंड टॉक टू अस अबाउट सम प्रॉब्लम्स इनिशियली दे स्टार्ट बिकमिंग फिलासॉफिकल वॉट इज दिलान एग्जाम्पल आई एल गिव यू वन पर्सन आस्क मी समेयर स्वामी जी इफ समबडीज वाइफ कम्स एंड बीट्स हिम what and a course of action he should take i said why do you meddle in somebody else's life did they invite you no then why do you talk about them no suppose somebody i said you know i cannot solve the suppose problems to be very frank with you swami ji this is my problem <laughs> so why don't you tell right in the beginning see when we go to the doctor do we ask the doctor a question like that doctor sir what is the condition of tuberculosis in australia no we say that i got a problem please help me see friends therefore when we inquire and when we start inquiring when everything is perfect we will never inquire we will indulge and when something goes wrong somewhere then we pause see give way sign is there we pause look right look left and if there is proper freedom then we go in the same manner we live in this world success after success success after success arrogance vanity achievement name fame and suddenly sometime something goes wrong and then there is a kind of a jerk see like a speed breaker on the road 
the road is very smooth. You know, this is how on the highways, expressways, why the accidents happen is because of that. When you are straight road miles together, you keep on driving. There is no thing to look here and there. After some time, the eyes become stationary, and you get into samadhi. <laughs> See. Therefore, when there is a jerk somewhere, then we oh God, what happened? Therefore. Na rupa maste This description of the world is no more valid when we start inquiring. What is the inquiry? Inquiry is, I am miserable. Now inquiry continues. Am I the only one miserable in this world? Who doesn't have problems? And in this manner, we go from the individuality to the totality. See, one simple technique I'll tell you. If we have got miseries, the best way to get out of our miseries is to help others who are miserable. Your miseries will become secondary. But what happens when we have got problems, we expect sympathy from the whole world. And to gain the sympathy, we are ready to do any drama. The idea is to seek sympathy from the world. See, friends. Therefore, narupa palabhyate. Then we come to know by proper inquiry that what we think that this world is too much for us, it is not true. Then what is this world? Nanto na chadir na cha sampradishtha. This world has no beginning and no end. Now be very attentive. One day, I was in US and one professor of physics, he was driving me for a lecture somewhere. We were together in the car, he and me, he was driving a car and me, both. Car he was driving on the road and to me he was driving crazy. And he said, Swamiji, now there is nobody, so I am very happy, I want to ask you questions. That is why, you know, in my mobile phone, I have got plenty of songs. The moment I feel that, you know, the virus of question is coming, immediately I start playing the music. But he won over me. He started question right away. And his question was, uh, Swamiji, according to your uh, Vedanta, when the world is created and how the world is created? Then I told him, Vedanta doesn't ask wrong questions. When the question is wrong, it cannot be answered. So Vedanta doesn't answer wrong questions. Do you mean I have asked you a wrong question? I said, yes. Then I asked him, please tell me about your, uh, you know, way, how the world is created. Oh, there is a big bang theory and a big uh, black hole theory. I said, now tell me, can there be a bang if there is only one, if there is only hand, no second hand, no anything in, can there be a bang? No. So to have a bang, there must be two things. Two things is the world. So big bang is not possible. Then black hole theory. Hole in what? Think. Can the hole exist without some object? There is a hole in the cloth, there is a hole in the shoe, there is a hole in the wall, there is a hole in the paper, black hole. <laughs> Do you mean that this is wrong? I said it is not only wrong, but it is ridiculous. <laughs> that means what we have been studying, I said that's a different issue. Then according to Vedanta, what is the thing? I said we don't accept, there is the creation. Then this world, what we are experiencing, I said, okay. When you are sleeping in deep sleep, that time, where are you? In USA, Australia, UK, India. First, second thing, when are you? 2009, 1948, when? That time, what are you? Man, woman, young, old, healthy, unhealthy, rich, poor? Think, everything disappears. 
see friends and the moment we are identified with our gross body the world is created so when the world is created the moment we are identified with the body from where the world starts the world begins from our gross body see just get this point nantu na chadir natsa sampradeshta see and natsa sampradeshta it doesn't have any stability it is just an appearance it is not real see like i gave in the morning an example so this is another very deep point anything which appears under a set of conditions is an illusion is the rule see for example the sunrise and sunset sunrise and sunset appears under a set of conditions just imagine for the sake of imagination you go away from the earth hundreds and thousands of miles away from the earth then will there be a sunrise and sunset sunrise and sunset is only because the earth is moving and the movement of the earth is superimposed on the sun and therefore the sun appears to be rising and setting in fact the sun never rises and never sets see friends similarly the colors and forms that we see when they are seen under a number of conditions colors and forms must be bathing in the light of the external light eyes must be open eyes must be functional we must be focusing attention on them then only the world of colors and forms comes into existence therefore any experience which requires a set of conditions is an illusion nacha sampradeshta see friends mutual dependence is an illusion it is not real take for example because of the eyes colors and forms are seen because of the colors and forms eyes are functionally established if somebody is exposed to darkness can we establish his vision no see how simple it is in the same manner this world comes into existence only after identification with the gross body therefore nacha sampratishtha it is something like going on the top of the tree what was a future tense for the man below the tree was a present tense for the man on the tree is it not so past present and future is an illusion you also must have experience many a time you take a flight you were in the air for one hour you get into the flight at 7 o'clock and you land at 7 o'clock isn't it then we say we gain 8 hours and we lose 10 hours what 10 hours and 8 hours see friends nanto na chadir nacha sampradeshta the more we contemplate on this principle we come to know that is whole world is only an appearance and images now one more statement i'll tell you see how deep it is we have a feeling that we are seeing each other is it not but what is the truth the truth is light is reflected on us and the shape of our body or every object is making an image on our retina and that image is bathing in the light of consciousness and that is recognized we are not seeing each other we are seeing only the images so when i close my eyes image is not formed 
you are not seen so what we really see or what we really experience is only the images not the real one see friends and images are constantly changing they are not real they are only appearances see therefore न रूपमस्ते तथोपलभ्य ना तो न चादीर न च संप्रदिष्ठा दिस वर्ल्ड विच वी टेक टू बी सो सॉलिड रियालिटी इज जस्ट ओनली इमेज इज नॉट द रियल वन वॉट इज द रियालिटी रियालिटी इज दैट विच डजन डिमांड एनी कंडीशन फॉर इट्स ओन बीइंग For example, our own being, our existence, is it established through the sense organs? <coughs> Whether you are there or not, I think I am there little bit. We don't smell. Whether I am here or not, we don't lick. I think, no. Our presence. does not demand any external condition nor sense organs nor mind see nanto na chadir na cha sampadishta so ashvatthamenam suvirudha moolam asanga shastrena drudha drudena chitva then what is to be done with this world this tree of ashvatha the fig tree has to be cut unless we cut it it will not disappear if we imagine that things will happen it will never happen see in bhajagovindam bhagwan shankaracharya tells that um अंगम गलित फलित मुंड दशन विहीन जात दुंड वृद्धो याति गृहवा दंड तदि न मुंचति आशा पिंड भज गोविंद भज गोविंद इफ वी इमेजिन दट द डिज ऑफ डिजायर विल डिअपियर एज वी ग्रो ओल्ड फॉर गेट अबाउट इट एंड देर द टीचर से एज दैट ऑल द लिम्स आर हैंगिंग and there is a total deep forestation and all the teeth have gone and yet even in the old age the planning continues i will do this thing i will do go on 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 the friends therefore there is only one way we have to cut this tree it will not just go like that but what business we have got to destroy this world so the teacher says what is the shastra what is the uh, axe with which we have to cut this tree asanga shastrena we have to be absolutely detached from this world see absolutely detached means what live very much in this world padma patram ivambasa like the lotus leaf the lotus leaf is born in the waters it is sustained in the waters but no water can touch the lotus leaf in the same manner we live very much in this world but we refuse to be influenced by this world and live in the glory of our blissful existence that is the meaning of asanga shastrena drudhena chitva and for that what is the sadhana drudhena chitva suppose you take an axe and you want to cut a huge oak tree and you go there and hit it as if it is the stroke of brush <laughs> will it ever cut if you want to cut you have to be firm and hit with all strength in the same manner this passion has to be firm see friends and with this passion we can move in this world freely happily although very much in this world 
we don't have any right to destroy the world we have only right we have to withdraw our unwanted participation in this world therefore there are two ways we withdraw from the world one is under depression and second is under dispassion depression is the disease dispassion is the freedom see why we get depressed nobody wants me i am feeling very lonely and therefore i am depressed then take the drug and see ram 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 see then the life is carried as a burden But the one who is dispassionate he is very much participating in this world with full vigor and joy, and yet he has a total freedom to withdraw in a fraction of moment. Asanga shastre na drudhe na chitva. We don't have to change the place. We don't have to change the job. We don't have to change anything around us. We have to change ourselves. See, friend. and therefore the teacher says asanga shastra drudhena chitva it has to be cut with firm resolution enough of this world that means we no more get influenced by anything or anybody in this world does it mean we become numb no on the contrary you will see all the great masters who lived in this world with utter detachment they were absolutely perfect in whatever they were doing see it is not the withdrawal out of frustration but it is the withdrawal out of wisdom asanga shastrena drudhena chitva now what is this uh, dispassion born out of wisdom is very simple first all the problem that we have they are at two levels level number 1 we come in contact with the things and situations level number 2 we come in contact with the people around us so when we come in contact with the things around us either we get uh, something what we like or we get something what we don't like either we get cold or we get hot either we get joyful or we get miserable when all these things are constantly dashing us equanimity of our mind is undisturbed see and whether somebody is honoring us giving respect or somebody doesn't give us respect that doesn't change our equipoise two things we get disturbed because of these two things one is the things around us and second is the people around us this is what bhagwan says in the sixth chapter jitatmanah prashantasya paramatma samahitah shitoshna sukha dukkheshu tatha manapamanayo he is established in god he who is not disturbed by anything that is happening around him and he who is not hungry for getting the uh, respect from the world whatever the world treats him it makes no difference to him he is established in the lord see living in this wisdom he is called as detachment born out of understanding asanga shastrena drudhena chitva now after having achieved this complete detachment from the world then the teacher goes to the next step uh, fourth mantra tat padam tat parimargitavyam yasmin gatana nivartanti bhuyaha tameva chadyam purusham prapadde yata pravrutti prasruta purani tatah thereafter there after means what after having withdrawn through wisdom from the world and the influence of the world tatah there after tat padam parimargitavyam now start seeking that which is absolute see 
तत् पदम परिमार्गित व्यम वन हैज टू नाउ एंगेज इन टू द इंक्वायरी परिमार्गणम मिस इंक्वायरी तत् पदम परिमार्गित व्यम विच पदम यस्मिन गतान निवर्तंति भूय हैविंग रीच वेयर हैविंग अटेंड विच देर इज नो मोर कमिंग बैक टू द सेम डिस्गस्टेड एग्जिस्टेंस सी फ्रेंड्स भगवद गीता वेदांत डज नॉट टॉक अबाउट पोस्थमस अटेनमेंट इट इज नाउ एंड हियर इट इज नॉट आफ्टर यू डाई यू विल गो टू हेवन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू लूज दिस बाय डाई एंड यू डोंट नो वेदर हेवन इज देयर आर नॉट एंड सफर बोथ द वे लॉस इज नो देर फोर नाउ एंड हियर सो तत् पदम परिमागेतव्यम यस्पिन गतान निवर्तंति भूय दोज हु अटेन दीज दे हैव नेवर सफर्ड द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द रिलेटिव वर्ल्ड देर फोर यू विल नॉट कम एक्रॉस ए सिंगल महात्मा इन द वर्ल्ड हु हैज सफर्ड डिप्रेशन आई डू नॉट नो दिस वॉट आई रेड और हर्ड यू नो दि डेल कार्निगी हाउ मेनी बुक्स how to win friends how to be you know happy you know what was the end of his life he committed suicide how to be happy you is the world and you are still miserable it is something like you know a person writes a thesis on sleep but he has to take the sleeping pills before <laughs> going to sleep see yasmin gatha nanivartanti bhuya ha there is no return back to this uh, disgusted existence so that padam to, uh, to be parimargitavyam to be inquired into tameva chadyam purusham prabadde and then what is that tam adyam purusham prabadde now seek your own essential self as to what is our identity see so to begin with we seek the lord somewhere above the clouds other than us the creator of the world never mind at least we have started accepting that there is something much more than ourselves see you know what happens as a result the first stage on the spiritual path is devotion where there is no devotion see only if we think that only by doing yoga we can achieve nothing can be achieved patanjali marchi writes two places two sutras the same sutra is repeated two times where he says ishwara pradidhana dwa by the grace of the lord this can be attained see and therefore it is so necessary that the <coughs> principle of devotion must be invoked in our heart and what is the principle of devotion how it will help us now understand when we are devoted to the lord the first thing that happens is the fear disappears from our heart the lord is all the time with me i am not alone he is taking care of me see and if we have invoked that devotion in our heart we will never lead a life of miserable uh, beggary existence we we'll live in the glory of being his devotee see second thing when we are devoted to the lord we have surrendered our ego we can surrender our ego when we have discovered something or somebody which is higher and superior than us See friends, and this process of surrender is the beginning of the spiritual path. Therefore, tamay vachadam purusham prabadde. Although we do not know who he is, he what is he? Yet we invoke his grace through devotion. And when we are thus devoted to the Lord, the first step on the path of devotion is prabadde. We take refuge at his holy feet. See. and when we the surrender ourselves you know when the namaskar the salutations are done two things are done we bend our neck 
and we uh, join our palms together what is meant is now our independent existence is surrendered and we have nothing to achieve in this world our hands are only for your service oh lord a complete surrender of the gnana shakti and the kriya shakti the complete surrender of the power of knowledge and the power of activity or dynamism tame vachadyam purucham prapadde yataha pravrutti prasruta purani from whom the whole world has emerged see friends the world is not made out of like you know the you know in our um, chemistry water is what is the water water is h2o when two gases mix together in a proportion of 2 is to 1 h2o water is born in vedanta shastra h2o is not water that because of which the taste is possible that principle of taste is water see it is extremely subjective otherwise water will remain independent of the tongue it cannot and in this manner when we are able to associate that this whole world has emerged out of this absolute reality so this absolute reality is the one which is to be uh, sought after so tame eva chadyam purusham prapadde yataha pravrutti prasruta purani pravrutti this total manifestation of this whole world has begun from him it remains in him and it goes back into him in this manner this paramatma has to be sought after there after the question comes now will you please give us a scheme of study or spiritual practice so that we can practice this now this is said in the next mantra nirmana moha jita sanga dosha अध्यात्मृत्त कामुक्ता सुख दुख संजूपर आर फाइव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस आर गि फर्स्ट स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस निर्माण मोह से स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस जित संग दोषा third spiritual practice adhyatma nitya fourth spiritual practice vinivrutta kamaha and the fifth one is dvanvaihi vimuktaha sukha dukkha sanjnaihi when is five principles are fully practiced in life then we are walking the spiritual path and each one of them have a tremendous impact on our evolution in auckland we gave a talk and the talk was in the external world it is evaluation in the inner world it is evolution spiritual practice is evolution and not evaluation how this evolution happens through this five fold spiritual practice that we will take in tomorrow's episode पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्ण पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओ